Hello friends, how are you doing? How are you feeling? It's me. Welcome to the last episode. I'm, ex I'm so excited to get back to Jackson, see Tommy, wrap up, have Tommy ask, oh, why is Ellie still with you? Like, what's going on here? I think uh, it's going to be a very interesting conversation. I... Oh, the character development. I think uh, <sighs> I think the two of you would have been would have been good friends. I'm gonna cry, man, and it's been like thirty no seconds. Then I went up. <sighs> That's so sweet. He's just able to talk about her so freely now, yeah. and like, remember at the start of the game, it was like, don't you dare, don't you dare speak about her, don't say her name. Just a little bit further now. <sighs> This game is so... Uh, this story is beautifully told. Very beautifully told. <sighs> I'm happy for them. I'm <laughs> I'm happy that they're heading back now. Just, uh, you know, playing part two. As my first The Last of Us game. Like, I, I already know, but my yeah. gosh. My gosh, like this is oh yeah. such a lovely little moment. Such a nice ending. Butterflies as well. Uh oh, I'm being spoiled. Hey wait. Oh back in Boston? Yes. Back when I was bitten? Yes. I wasn't alone. Oh, my best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. Oh. So, what would you do in that situation? I I don't she even says, know. Oh. Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. That's not what happened though. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Aww. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. That's and really sad. Tess. Oh, shit. She's got survivor's guilt. Everyone around her dying. You. you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. Um, oh, no the watch. What, I'm going to cry. <laughs> my eyes are getting wet. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you said about the fireflies is true. Oh, Joel. I swear. I guess, you know what? She wants to be the cure. I mean... Maybe she was, maybe she wasn't the cure, who knows. Oh my gosh, okay, well, I guess it's gonna be a two episode Wednesday. <laughs> oh god, oh, I wish I knew. I was, I was really thinking that we were gonna gallivant back to Jackson and like, hey Tommy, <laughs> like, say hi to everyone. Oh my god, that was such a sweet, wrap up though i really like that because it really shows like that it's day and night right the character arcs the character development between joel and ellie joel going from like very like standoffish very stubborn like i will not confront my trauma don't ask about me do not say my daughter's name do not say tess's name get away from me do not hug me and do not look me in the eye to now he just will willingly give up information and it's like his guard is down and he's letting himself be vulnerable with Ellie and I love that. Ellie went from like halfway through the game like learning from Joel like oh I should be standoffish I shouldn't confront any of my trauma I should just ball up until I explode like Joel and now she's at the point again where kind of gets to the root of it all like why she was so determined to get to that firefly lab why she was so hopeful that the fireflies would be open because like the cure is or sorry being a potential to host answers for a cure or a vaccine whatever 
is her reason for living and she has guilt for all these people around her that are dying and like man like that's so difficult to deal with especially as a kid i really enjoyed this game i 100 percent understand the hype behind the game i get it i loved part two when i played it and this is the same feeling i get playing it it's difficult to describe the storytelling was beautiful i love the storytelling through like the characters was absolutely phenomenal everything was so immersive the storytelling through the environment through the collectibles following these people you've never met before or seen before from however long ago in the past i don't know and seeing the hardships that they went through like with ish and the ad underground bunker the i don't know what you would call it i guess like an underground bunker type thing like seeing him go from well i'm a fisherman and i'm doing good so let me go on land surely it can't be that bad right and then he goes into this bunker and he finds all these people and they're living and they're catching water from rain and they're doing all these things to survive. And then there's just infected. Did they say one one open door was all it took or something like that? I'll have to go back and, and see, but horrifying. And then you see someone else who was part of that bunker situation before they decided to join the bunker and they're like oh this nice guy keeps coming around and says like i trust you you've got kids you should come into my bunker and we all know how that ended <laughs> i loved the characters i thought they were so human they were so the car the characters were so complex they weren't these two-dimensional beings they have these personalities they have wants they have needs they have a moral compass like i i love that so much so so much and the voice acting absolutely phenomenal just insanely immersive insanely immersive another thing i really loved is although it's a very linear game it gives a very open worldy feel like you can see miles into the distance and it looks like you can go there and it does a very good job of guiding you where the next big event is i really love that and also this may have been the last episode of the last of us i'm gonna go back and trophy hunt in my own time right of course i'm gonna 100 percent and platinum this game of course i am we still have the left behind dlc to do and so, on that note, I will see you in the first episode of the Left Behind DLC next. Take care of yourself, subscribe for more, and I'll see you later. Bye!